What is up guys? Behind me is the Tornado 13 Gallon Apartment Pro Carpet Extractor. It is a 70 pound carpet extractor, 50 foot hose, stainless steel wand, and we're going to use it to clean some carpets. We've got it set up. If you want to see how we set up the machine, that's a whole separate little small video. I didn't want to include it in this. The link will be down below, but it's set up. It's ready to go. And next we're going to start cleaning. All right, guys. So we've got as much of the big stuff out of the way here as we can. We've moved all the big stuff that we can get out of here, Chewy. You're the reason I'm cleaning. All right. So. We've got all the big stuff. And then the next step is after you've moved everything out of the way, you wanna vacuum first. So we're gonna go ahead and vacuum the rooms, the area that's gonna be cleaned. All right, done, got it vacuumed. Let's pre-treat this carpet. All right guys, so we are using Gorilla Lavender Cleaner. Um, depending on what you use, of course you're gonna mix it based on their ratios. And we actually, we used a spot like urine treatment thing too. I just didn't get any video of me mixing it, but we mixed both into little pump sprayer containers like this. And we diluted the concentrate using just hot water from the faucet. All right guys, next we're gonna pre-treat this a couple of stains the dog peed in here so this was a spot so we're gonna we've got a just a pump sprayer here regular little home depot pump sprayer we mixed the this is the urine the pet odor uh one that we're gonna do we're gonna just look for the spots and we're gonna spray them but first i'm gonna take chewy out because he's already in here sniffing all right guys so the reason that i've read to pre-soak the carpet ahead of time is so that you can let the um, cleaner have time to get into the fiber and you know start loosening that dirt before you come in and try to extract it uh, so first we treated with a spot treatment for like the urine smell and then we treated with a lavender cleaner all right guys next we've got our second solution this is the lavender fusion um, and we're gonna, again, we're gonna pre-treat the carpet, let it all soak in. All right, this one I am doing the whole room, so I'm just gonna kinda work my way backwards out of the room. We're gonna let that soak for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll come back and start vacuuming. We're gonna go prep the other rooms. All right guys, we've got the other rooms pre-treated. This is one room and whoa. Then we've got the girls room. All right, and so vacuum picked up and pre-treated. We've got our machine. Like I said, it's already set up. We already had the pump on because we cleaned out the lines and now we're going to turn on the vacuum so that we can start. All right, guys, this is our pump. And then this other button here is our vacuum. All right. So now that's on. Let's see our vacuum is going. All right. It's working. And we're going to start on this end over here. We're going to start cleaning it off and see how it goes. All right, guys. So the tank, we filled it with hot water from the uh, tub. You actually stick the hose that pulls in the water into your tub and it pulls the water and it runs it through this line. And so all I'm running through is clean water, no soap or anything from a couple places that I read. Um, it's better to just pre-soak it and then run the uh, clean water through the tank to extract only clean water. Um, so that's the way that I did it. And I'm spraying clean water on everything and extracting it as I'm going with the vacuum. 
All right, we did the first part. Let's go check the tank and see if it's really sucking up dirt. It's got a little bit in there. All right, let's keep going. Not still wet. All right, guys, there you have it. We did three rooms, took about two hours because of, I had to prep and vacuum and move stuff around. This is the culprit right here. Come here, come here, Chewy. He's hiding from the camera. He doesn't want y'all to know it was him. This is the culprit right here, Chewy, new puppy. Um, but yeah, we got it cleaned off. It's still moist. I've got the fan going, but it took about two hours. I used about 16 ounces of the solution because it's um, concentrated. One of the spots I can still see up here, uh, this one was the main big one. Um, I didn't use a specific like spot remover, but it does smell better in here. It did smell in here, uh, but yeah, it smells a lot better. We're gonna let it dry and yeah, that's it guys. So, all right, yeah, so it was not a disaster. Um, the boy did, the boy did. The machine did well. Uh, like I said, it took a couple hours to prep everything and get everything ready and going. Next, I'm gonna do this carpet, but this one will be outside because I don't wanna do it on top of the wood floors, but yeah that is pretty cool little machine all right i don't think it's available for uh consumers um unless you go to like directly to like a professional cleaning uh, website or something to buy it i think uh it's a good option for like us that we have rental houses or if you have a small apartment complex or you manage apartment complexes i think it's a good option for you um if you have multiple houses to clean or if you just want to start a small business i think this would be a great um a great option it's like i said it's under three thousand dollars i around between two and twenty five hundred is the normal that i saw it online um the cleaning solutions i spent 70 bucks on and i did i barely used any i used about a fourth maybe less of a fourth of this bottle we used the gorilla lavender fusion and then the gorilla urine attack um, and then I also got a spot remover, which I didn't use in the rooms for some reason. I forgot 70 bucks. So let's say you're in for 3000 and you need a car to move it around and some business cards and, oh, and a little pump spray, which is like 20 bucks. Um, and you're in business, man, some business cards, some flyers, go out, hand them out to some apartments and you've got yourself a little side business guys, um, find you someone that you can train that can do it. And you handle all the, um, scheduling and finding the jobs and yeah that's a good little business idea right there um uh, this is set something that definitely 
at Gomez Maintenance, we might look into just after doing it and just seeing it's not that hard. It just takes time and the right products takes a little bit of time. It's not even that time consuming. Um, it is a little bit of grunt work. You have to push in, you have to scrub the carpet, um, but it's definitely something that I'm going to look into as far as adding to our services for Gomez Maintenance. So that may be something that we'll add in the future. Again, if you like the video, guys, hit that like, that subscribe. I'm glad I didn't break anything or I didn't flood the house. Um, again, the Tornado 13 gallon, not sponsored. I got, I borrowed it from someone, so they didn't send it to me or anything, but I like it. Um, it wasn't that loud. It's like a regular back, maybe a little bit louder, like a shop back. Not hard to put together, not hard to uh, run, nothing complicated. You can do it yourself um, if you can get access to one. But like I said, I just wanted to try the tool out. I was able to, I was able to get my hands on it and I thought you guys might think that's cool. So let me know what you guys think, if you've used anything similar. Um, and if you guys have any tips and tricks for carpet cleaning, I'd be happy to hear them. Uh, most of what I got, I watched on, on here on YouTube, or I've also talked a couple times to the carpet guys that have cleaned our house before, our other house. But yeah, if you like the video, hit that like and that subscribe if you want to see more. Again, thank you guys for checking out the channel. And let me know what you guys think of the Tornado Extractor.